On today's episode, I'm sharing nine habits that make you fat. Welcome, Lively Nation, to the episode. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm your host, Brad Guthrow, the number one expert teaching you how to live lean 365 days a year. So I've got an important topic to talk to you about today. It's about habits. As you know, Living Lean is all about creating sustainable, healthy habits that will translate into creating a lean and healthy body all year round. I believe it's the poor lifestyle habits that are making our population fat. So commit right now to changing these nine habits. Number one, you don't eat frequently enough. So when you leave long hours in between meals and snacks, your blood sugar levels, they drop. Your mood takes a nasty turn and you become a sugar crave monster. It's a new term called being hangry. Since most people don't bring lunches and snacks to work anymore, they feel starving throughout the day, leading them to overindulge on bad calorie choices at lunch, at the vending machine, and of course, on the drive home. And if you do make it home, you don't spark up the barbecue to grill up some meat, you grab the most convenient sugar-filled snack that you can find. This creates short and temporary relief, but creates a longer issue with creating more hunger and cravings throughout the night. Schedule, prepare, and eat your meals and snacks through throughout the day. Number two, your obsession with low fat foods. You've been brainwashed by the media, by food marketers with the low fat hype. I want you to stop the habit of filling your grocery cart with packaged foods that are labeled low fat or fat free. Remember, when a food marketer removes harmless, insatiating, and in most cases, healthy natural fat from a food, they must replace it by putting something back into it. In most cases, the replacement is sugar or other artificial sweeteners and chemicals that will spike your blood sugar, create more cravings, and turn on your body's fat storing switch. Bad habit number three, you watch too much TV. So when you're watching TV, you're most likely doing two things as well. Number one, you're probably sitting or lying down, which means you're not burning many calories as if you were at the gym, you're out walking your dog, or you're at the park playing basketball. And number two, you're probably snacking on sugary, fattening, refined food, and calorie-filled drinks. Now don't get me wrong, watching your favorite show, sports, or movie is fine. The problem is if that show turns into many hours, many missed workouts, and many consumed calories every single night. Bad habit at number four, you take your health for granted. Most people need a kick in the ass. They just don't pay any attention or show any interest in their own health. Then one day they look in the mirror and they don't recognize the reflection or worse, they end up in the hospital because their heart, it just couldn't take the abuse anymore. You're only given one body in your life. Treat it like the most important real estate in the world. Nobody is responsible for your health but you. Own up to it. Take responsibility and invest in your health by hiring a coach or buy a workout or nutrition plan. It's up to you. Bad habit number five, you eat too fast. So if there was one habit on this list that I'm guilty of, it's this one. I blame it on my college days in meal hall. I needed to eat fast so I didn't miss class. Or maybe it was just because I was embarrassed to be seen eating by my lonesome self. When we stuff our faces, our stomach doesn't have time to communicate to our brain that we're full. In fact, some studies show it takes 20 minutes to actually feel full. So slow your roll, people, me included. Number six, you're waiting for the perfect time to start. Listen, the perfect time, it doesn't exist. The closest thing to being a perfect time is today. And yes, I know you're busy, but so are the thousands of other live leaners that are making it a priority in their day to just schedule their workouts and their meals. In the beginning, just like you schedule a doctor's appointment or a job interview, start scheduling in your workouts and plan your grocery shopping and meal prep days. Eventually, this will turn into a habit just like brushing your teeth where you don't even have to think about it anymore. And number seven, stop oversleeping or undersleeping. Most people sleep far too less or far too much. It's important to get on a set sleep schedule. So I'm in bed between 9 and 10 p.m. and I'm up at 5 a.m. The occasional time when I stay out late or get up later, I find my mood is off or my hunger gets out of control. So aim for seven or eight hours of sleep a night, no more and no less. And number eight, you eat out more than you cook. Now I don't have any stats to back this up, 
up, but I'd be willing to bet 99.99% of people consume more calories while eating out than when they cook at home. And the reason, it's simple. Restaurants, they are in the business of getting you to order more food. Think about it, do you really think they're serving you that free bread or that free nacho chips out of the kindness of their heart? I'm gonna say, hell no. These sugar spiking foods are known to create more hunger and thirst, thus driving you to purchase and consume more calorie filled foods and drinks. Take back control by learning how enjoyable cooking at home is. Number nine, you're drinking your calories. The concept of consuming calories to make you feel safe sheet in full. It makes sense, but not if you're drinking your calories, which so many people are in the habit of doing. In most cases, the calories from liquids, they come from sugar. And the main culprits are soda, fruit juices and drinks, white and chocolate dairy milk, sweetened nut milks, sugar-filled coffees and teas, and yes, of course, our favorite, alcohol. Not only are these drinks filled with insulin spiking fattening sugar, they'll also make you more hungry. Even zero calorie drinks that are artificially sweetened with chemicals like diet soda have been shown to induce more hunger throughout the day. So save your calories for food and hydrate yourself with water or enjoy black coffee and tea sweetened with natural sweeteners like stevia. So there you have it Live Lean Nation. If you're looking to create lifelong healthy habits and start living lean forever, I just created a brand new free ultimate live lean starter guide showing you how to start living lean it includes a free hot body workout program a weekly meal plan including cooking lesson recipe videos for every single meal this is 100% free because I want to show you guys all the value and all the support that we offer our team live lean.com inner circle members they receive this kind of stuff from us every single month so go download the free starter guide at live lean tv.com slash YouTube and we're hope to see you on the inside and if you enjoyed today's episode make sure you click that like button down below and click subscribe as we upload new episodes every monday wednesday and thursday and don't forget guys share this one with at least one out of the five people that you hang out with most because remember as i posted on instagram a little while ago you become your influencers your peers in your conversations guys remember that all right i'm out of here guys i love you and make sure you keep living late. On today's episode, I'm talking about seven diet myths to ditch.